It's amazing how different shit is now. And it hasn't been this way for a long time. It's been a very short time. Everybody has a phone in their pocket. It didn't used to be. You had a phone. Just a few years ago, nobody had their phone. It was just the phone. It was this thing, the phone, that was in a room in your house. And then you had to dial this fucking thing. There was a rotor, and you had to turn and go... You actually hated people with zeros in their numbers because they made you do, well, oh, this guy's got a zero and a nine. How badly do I want to talk to that piece of shit? That's too much work. Now we have this, which is amazing. We have these phones that you can call in an airstrike. You can look at the top of your own head. It's amazing, this shit, and it's wasted on the shittiest generation of piece of shit assholes that ever fucking lived. I swear to God, we are. We're the worst people so far. Because we have this beautiful thing and we hate it. We're just mm, fucking. Do I don't never saw a person going. Look at what my phone can do. Nobody does that. They all go. This fucking thing is sucks. I can't get it to think. Give it a second, would you? Could you give it a second? It's going to space. Can you give it a second to get back from space? Is the speed of light too slow for you, you non-contributing product sponge cunt? Can you just wait? Can you just take a little breath? Just wait for that picture of Axl Rose to get on your phone. Like, it even fucking mattered what you were doing. Like, it was even important. We're all just so mad. I hate my phone sucks. No, it doesn't. It's amazing. The shittiest cell phone in the world is a miracle. Your life sucks around the phone. Why are you so mad at it? People say the craziest shit. I, I hate Verizon. What are you talking about? How can that feeling exist? I hate Verizon. Why? Did they fire you and take away your pension? No, just... A couple of times it was weird for a second. Mm. I hate them. I hate Verizon. Well, make your own then. You go make one. Make your own network. Get some hubcaps and climb some trees. See how close yours is to perfect. Why would it be perfect? Really, it's as good as it is. Why do we expect it to be fucking perfect all the fucking time? We're not contributing. We're not helping it be perfect. We don't even know what, what is involved. Do you have any idea what is involved in taking your thing that you said that nobody needs to ever hear ever? <laughs> when you go, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> and a little invisible magic angel takes it and Damn it. How, when did you send me that text? If I sent it to you a month ago, it's amazing whenever it gets to you. It's amazing. Whenever it gets to you in your chosen fucking font. It's incredible. I don't know. I'm not that old. I'm 41. But I'm still amazed at the shit in my life. I'm amazed at the shit in the world. I was on a plane once, like about a month ago, and they had high-speed wireless internet on the plane. And they had never done that before. They explained to us that we were like one of the first aircraft. And I open up my, my laptop, and I'm online. I'm looking at YouTube and shit while we're flying. And then it broke down. And the woman says, I'm sorry, but we have to fix the internet so it's down for the rest of the flight. The guy next to me goes, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> like, dude, how does the world owe you something you didn't even know existed 30 seconds ago? People on planes are the worst. People on planes, they complain. They get off the plane, they come to your house, and they tell you about their whole flight experience. And they make it sound like it was fucking a, a cattle car in Poland in the 40s. They just make it, that was the worst day of my life. I had to sit on the runway for 40 minutes. That's a story in this country. That's a fucking hardship that you had to sit on the runway 
people will listen to that story. They'll stop doing the dishes and turn around and go, oh my God, really? For 40 minutes? That's awful. You should sue them. I had to sit on the runway for 40 minutes. Oh my God, really? What happened then? Did you fly through the air like a bird? Incredibly? Did you soar into the clouds impossibly? Did you partake in the miracle of human flight? And then land softly on giant tires that you couldn't even conceive how they fucking put air in them? How dare you? Bitching about flying! I had to pay for my sandwich. You're flying! You're sitting in a chair in the sky! You're like a Greek myth right now! But it doesn't go back very far and I'm sort of squishing my knees. The Wright brothers would kick us all right in the cunt if they knew. If, if you could go back in time to Orville Wright and go, hey dude, I had to sit on the runway for 40 minutes. And he'd be like, oh shit, well, let's not even bother then. <laughs> hey, Wendell, shut it down. They make you wait for a bit. That hardly seems worth it. There's always delays. That's what everybody complains about. There's always delays when I fly. Really? Delays. It's too slow. Air travel's too slow. New York to California in six hours. That used to take 30 years to do that. And a bunch of you would die on the way there. You get shot in the neck with an arrow and you go oh, and fall down. And the other passengers would just bury you and put a stick there with your hat on it and keep walking. And one of them would fuck your wife and have three babies. And all the old people would die. You'd be a whole different group of people by the time you got to California. Now you watch an Adam Sandler movie and you take a big runny dump and you're there. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was flying about a week ago and uh, I was in the airport and I saw this really old man and he's on, he's on a wheelchair. I can fucking hear that shit, so back the fuck off. I can hear it in your headsets. Just careful. Or turn them down. Sorry to fuck up the entire show for that, but I could hear. Get closer to him. No, it's okay. It's fine. Get closer to him. You won't mind. <laughs> All right, wait a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's about where I was. <laughs> okay. That's right. I was on a. I was in the. Um, I was in the airport. To just drenched right now. Totally drenched. It's like I peed. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm in the airport, and I'm going through security, and they bring this old man in a wheelchair. And he was crazy old. I mean, he was the oldest thing I've ever seen. I've been, I've been to museums and shit. This dude, what? I didn't know there had been as much time as this guy was old. They, I mean, he was at least forever. He was at least that old. Just tiny little Nosferatu hands and eggy head. Just one of those. Ew, ew. <laughs> So frail. It was like the. It was like just the atmosphere was crushing him into a diamond. Just. <laughs> and they're pushing him through, and I'm not the only. Like he was parting the the people because people were going, "What the fuck? That's crazy. He's really old." And they take him through security, and you know, if you're really old or you're in a wheelchair, you can't go through the metal detector if you're in a wheelchair. So they take you to secondary clearance, which is far more stringent. Like the oldest and feeblest people get the highest scrutiny. 
So they take him over there, and he's, I mean, he doesn't even look good for infinity. He's not even like a, he's the, it, this guy holding the thing going. And they take him over, and they start checking him for weapons. Like, third, what do you got there, huh? Like, checking him. And they lift him, I swear to God, they picked him up gently out of the wheelchair by the shoulders, and he's standing between these two guys like this. And they're going, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, really? Is that the guy, fellas? You think that's the guy? You want to maybe let him go? Let him enjoy the last 10 seconds of his life doing something else? What, what is he going to... Even if he pulled it off, he, he deserves whatever he wanted, really. What, what is he going to do? Even if he had a grenade, let him keep it. And I know what they'd say, they'd be like, well, where do you draw the line? He, this is the line. This guy right here, he's the actual line. It's very clear. There's always somebody going through security who's like, I don't want to take off my shoes. That's stupid. I'm not a terrorist. Oh, that's right, we only make terrorists do that, I'm sorry.